What is good, Vibe Gang? It is your boy, Ray here with another. We we almost done, this is the last one. This is the last one. It's been a great couple of weeks doing these videos. <laughs> I am so, um, what's the word? Hi. That's what I am. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Federico, cut the beat. I feel some bullshit going on today. So, uh, I'll be prepared. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Look, I'm just gonna say it now, man. It's gonna be a long video. So... I, I really just don't know. I, I guess the, the the more subscribers I get, and the more people see my stuff, and the more people don't like my stuff because I take a long time to press the button and play. So I'm all right. So let's do this. Let's do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna change my my YouTube name. I'm gonna I'm gonna see how I could change the name that I actively have right now, which is Vibe Reactions. And I'm going to change my name. Vibe Review. That's what I'm going to change it to. Don't consider me a reactor. I'm not a reactor. I'm just a nigga that talks shit. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Rand live. Let's end this album. It's an album. It's 13 tracks. It's an album. It's been a fun time, guys. I've had a blast. Thank you. Thank you for the entertainment. It is on you. <laughs> Hey, kill me. Are we talking about whores now? No, you can't end it like that. You can't end it by talking about whores and shit. We would just talk about whores in the kitchen. We would just talk about whores in the kitchen. That's what I got. Oh, and I and people are like and I, I do I do I do I do think it's very disrespectful the way I chew my food, my candy, and while I'm while I'm uh I'm reacting and stuff like that, but I'm I'm trying to get this smoking thing together. I'm, I'm candy helps me not want to smoke. This is what it is. I need to stop eating. I think I gained ten pounds because of it. So I try to relax on that too. I'm, I'm growing. I'm changing. See the last one's a lover, but the first one's a whore.
fucking day. So what we gonna do right now is, I think I fucked up. You tell me if I did or not. I'm prepping myself, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow's 420. I got the 420 live. I'm going live with my man Larry Belafonte. He's got a 420 mixtape that he puts out. Every 420, he's got a mixtape out. I'm pre I'm prepping right now, man. Relax. <laughs> gonna do this shit the vibe reactions way or rock vibe reviews fuck out of here i ain't changing my name for shit <laughs> nigga you nuts that means i have to change everything fuck that <laughs> The first one's a slut. The first one whored around the whole neighborhood. <laughs> Love is crazy talking about whores and shit. <laughs> What's wrong with her? Relax. Do I like, don't you hate it? Like when you smoke, do, do you get like a little bit sober when you drink cold water? Like I sober up a little bit. So I think there's something that has to do with water and weed. That, that if you drink enough water, you can't get high. <laughs> oh, I'm still working on it. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get a good idea of how this is gonna work. So every time I take a sip, I get a little bit sober. I'm I'm sober enough to drive right now. Will I? Probably not. Got everything I need. The lover. But the first one's a whore. Fuck that bitch. what they're doing because she's starting off the tone right and he's trying to come up with something to overlap what she's doing but blending it and then she's doing the same thing back so they're going back and forth on that's fucking crazy why y'all doing it like that though hmm? i ain't gonna lie to you all fucking high as shit <laughs> I'm fucking flying right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to cut this on one reaction tonight. And I got a whole Harry Mac. Oh, I'm going to roast the fuck out of everybody. Uh, what are you doing, man? Like, y'all niggas need a... This whole beat sounds like, like picture, 
But you know those video games that you play on your phone that you got, it's like you're running and you have to like get the coins and you have to make sure you don't hit something or you have to jump and do all that shit. What's that fucking game called, man? All right, fuck it. Picture that game and this song in the background as you jump jumping through the obstacles in life. So this beat to me has meaning because this beat is a race to live your life because you don't know when you're not, you, your life is going to end. Yeah, your life can end at any moment. It can. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing about that, but it can. Understand. Do whatever makes you happy. You don't have to just stick to the fucking same routine. Wake up. Go to work. Deal with bullshit. Come out of work. Deal with more bullshit. Eat something. Probably fuck if you lucky. Go to bed. Wake up and do the same shit all over again. Some people are comfortable in that state. I'm not comfortable in that state. Neither is my wife. Me and her, me and her move more than motherfuckers that the government is looking for. Like, it feels like me and my wife have a warrant because we can't stay still. We always are looking for something to do. She's been paddle boarding every weekend ever since it stopped being cold. I'm, these Floridians are crazy. They wait until a little bit of heat comes out and these niggas is out of here. Let's go to the beach. What the fuck are you talking about? The beach. My nipples are still hard. <laughs> Like, it was just, like, 59 this morning. Y'all want to go to the beach. All right, when y'all get pneumonia, then start coughing up a, top, a bunch of green shit. That's not my problem. I got enough health issues. I ain't going to go put myself at risk to get unhealthier. Fuck kind of plan is that? It's bad enough I'm ready to complain this year. I, I, would, I don't want to start to 2024 in the sky. But I'm bugging. Fuck out of here. <laughs> my whole belly moved, but my legs stood still. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Now we're in a different part of your life. This is the part of your life right now. You see how the beat switched a little bit? Check it out. One time. <laughs> that part right there, you inside a tunnel. So you pretty much in the road of your life in that the way the slow down beat came that you in, in the crossroads of a decision you have to make. Either I'm going to take the promotion or I'm going to sell this kilo of coke. <laughs> but you in some type of crossroads, right? So now you in pondering. So the beat had to slow down because when you ponder... You can't ponder with fast music. That's weird. <laughs> Why do you guys watch me? Why do you guys watch me? <laughs> but it's weird. So as you're pondering, the B had to slow down for you. You're going to figure it out. But watch what happens when you figure it out. Which way you're going to go. I'll tell you which way this beat went. Now you see how the beat sped it up a little bit, a little bit. If you check tone, it went from do, 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 do. And then it went do, 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 do. It's a little bit faster You have to have magic earlobes My nigga <laughs> You have to get that from birth 
I heard my mother scream when I was coming out the pussy. Like, <laughs> that's the type of shit I got, <laughs> okay? I'm just saying. You see how it was sped up? You found the road. Now it's your job to keep chasing that dream that you want to chase to be who you are in life. Because the only thing that matters in life, the only thing that you should give a shit about in life is living a good one. That's the meaning of life. Be good while you're here. Leave something behind when you're gone. Assalamu alaikum, alaikum salam. I'm just saying, my nigga. Faxed. I don't know if I just cursed somebody's mama out, but I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm gonna be. Someone's gonna not like that. <laughs> But that's how that beat is transitioning. You found that purpose now. Now you're going at it, and you're still in that tunnel, but you know which tunnel you had to take. You know which road you had to turn to. Please turn left. Next signal. That's what they told you. Go ahead, Rensicles. <laughs> Everything's peculiar. <laughs> Everything looks weird. You in a situation now that you never thought you were ever going to be in your life. So now you got decisions you got to make. They're going to further your career, further your livelihood. Of what did we say? The meaning of life was live a good one. Right? Okay, then. Let's keep it going. Let's go, Ren. <laughs> So you know, <laughs> now you truck, you truck it. That's you. That's the grind that you're in right now. You're in a grind session at this point. This point in the beat, you over here, you working, working. You're so close to your goal that you could touch that motherfucker with the tip of your tongue. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Now your dog died. <laughs> Ren about to sing. I'm going to let Ren finish off the, the meaning of the song. Just telling you guys. I'm just letting you know. Give me everything I'm not. Give me something I forgot. Give me love. Forget me not. Give me your knots and crosses, please. Give me love when I'm on knees. Give me a snakes and ladders shoot. Something's 
Let's keep it a hundred. Can we keep it a hundred? I think Ren is Jesus. Jesus of music. He's the one sacrificing his body so we could heal our sins with his music. This is a sick man we're talking about right here, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to you, man. That, that, just what you, what he does with music is just a different type of fucking thing, bro. He's a fuck, he's an alien, like I told y'all niggas. I already told y'all, y'all don't even want to listen to me, but that's fine. <laughs> this man's a whole complete alien. It's not from here. Man, it's too far. Something is so confused. Woo -hoo -hoo. Did not do that. No diddy. I plead the puff. On the stack, all these. Nah, I'm not even gonna say that because that's that's big homo. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Por favor. Can't even make me dance like that, my guy. Man, you made my whole body spaghetti, my nigga. <laughs> oh my god. With two meatballs and one sausage link, my nigga. I'm just saying. <laughs> huh? I think it's making my heart rate go up, man. My doctor said to relax, and I can't. Not with you, motherfucker. Now this is the part of the beat where you, you, you're in there, you're doing what you love to do and everything's happening so quick. Everything's running by you so fast and these people see you and these people love you and these people do that and you don't know what to do. Your brain is racing, there's so many attention to you and everybody loves you and they wanna, they wanna be you, they wanna be with you, they want everything about you. You're all over the place, you don't know what to do. That's, part, that's the part right there, that's why I went fast. <laughs> Now you in an addiction part. This is where you, where you are in the in the down schemes of all the all the rich and fame in the fame. Not even like in public. You could be famous in your company in your industry where you 
where you learn how to be the best at what you do. It doesn't necessarily have to be an artist. You understand what I'm saying? You want to train? But there's the downslope of that. There's the loneliness. This, this is the part where, where your friends, you thought maybe your friends you know, stabbed you in the back and the people that you love, that you thought loved you back, don't love you like the way you thought they loved you, the way they loved you in the beginning. That's what I'm saying. stage now now you in there like swimwear baby you know how to balance your life a lot better you clear-headed now now everything's on clouds now everything you moving right so right things is happening to you in your life facts <laughs> Gave you the loan right now at this moment. Now you buying you buying buildings and shit. You say, you know what? I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna take what I learned from the industry that I learned how to do it and become the best. And I'm gonna try to do it on my own with my own company to see what I'm gonna do at this point in life. I'm done working for this company, man. I'm done working for the man. I want to be the man, so I'm gonna buy my own little shop. I'm gonna have four bays. We don't do fucking tires here, bitch. We don't do tires here. If one more person tells me, I think I got a flat. No, you don't. You drove here. <laughs> Ugh. It was a rough day at work today. <laughs> There's like a time capsule that comes. You like you meet a woman in the industry that you're doing. Like you went to go buy tile. You met Brenda, right? Yeah, that type of shit. You went to go buy tile for the store, and you sort of met this girl Brenda. Brenda had nice knockers. So you were in your ear, and you were like that to her. And she went, and she said, "Y'all came and y'all talk." You're like, "Yo, I need a help. I need help um, picking out some tile." She was like, "You gonna lay tile too?" He was like, I'll lay you. And she said, what? <laughs> and he said, why don't you come over to the crib so I can show you my square footage? <laughs> she was like, I want to see, I want to see your basement first, boy. Oh. <laughs> and then he met her like, Everything's going fast. Like, they got together. They fell in love. They got married. You see them coming out of the church with the rice in the air and shit like that. And a whole bunch of little boy-ass niggas. <laughs> Give me some rice. I want some. I want some. I know a dude that went to a wedding. And he took all, you know how in the weddings, in some Hispanic weddings, they put a, like, a, like a bundle of rice to hold down whatever ornament they want to put in the center of the table. Because they don't believe in fucking weights. <laughs> but you got a whole pound of rice. Bow. <laughs> that bitch. It's not a pound. It's like a like a handful of rice. And but I I dead ass saw a dude go on every table with yoinks, yoinks, and started grabbing all the rice bags and made rice with that shit. Went home and put all that shit in a pot and made rice. He put some freaking uh, uh you know that sour sour honey. Shit that they sell, that they give you at the Chinese store. 
on the rice and he just eats it like that. It looks like fried rice. No, it's not. It's not like fried rice. Because fried rice doesn't taste like that. <laughs> he said, you want some? No! All that shit. You stole rice to make it and make it more disgusting. You know how many people on that table sneezing on that rice and shit, man? Come on. And they had babies and shit like that. One Hector and Rodriguez. That's the boy. <laughs> That's the name of the babies, man. <laughs> Hector and Rodriguez. You gotta have tough ass names like that. They're in the hood. Right here, he's handing the keys over to the to Hector and Rodriguez. He's handing them keys over to the castle. He built a, a empire for them. He's getting sick. His back's hurting. He got arthritis on both knees. He got carpal tunnel. Got glaucoma. He got all types of issues going on. I can't do this no more. You guys have the keys to the castle. Go ahead, Hector Rodriguez. Hector and Rodriguez. Too much. You're gonna catch fire. That'd be crazy. She does that to her hand, just like the bright starts getting real bright, and then it just starts. <laughs> That'd be amazing, <laughs> but it will never happen. <laughs> You buying Dodge Vipers and shit. You going to strip clubs and shit. You're 90 years old, brother. You need to sit down. Montgomery. That's the name of the guy, the father of Hector Rodriguez. Montgomery. Montgomery. Montague. That's the name that I wanted to say. <laughs> Montague. He's losing his mind. Yeah, he does, he's lost. He's lost. He's a lost puppy. I'm telling you, Montague is out of his mind crazy. And he's over here spending all his money that he got. He's over here on strippers and chicken wings and all types of alcohol. 
They saw that nigga down, <laughs> down, down, uh, 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 Martin Luther King Boulevard buying a pound of Coke for no reason. He just wanted to do it. That's how nuts this man is. <laughs> And then the last crazy part of that, Monty Hu got was inside of Diddy's bedroom with the door locked. The end. He ended up with demonous type of tendencies. But Oni Ren can do it. Oni Ren can do it. And that's a fact. Guys, I had fun. This, this whole series was amazing. I loved it, but now I need you guys to do me a favor. Before I get started with the one of him and the other one, the other girl in the same room. Um, before we do that, I want to do some. If you guys know of any Ren singles that I have not done, I want to do some Ren singles. So there's one that I haven't done. I got the playlist. It should be right up there. Please let me know which one you guys want me to do before we get started with the other one. I love you guys. I got a lot more coming. Be prepared. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that. I love you. Peace. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. That's fine.